I miss you so much, mijo. I missed you too, mama. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh my goodness. This kitchen, it's such a mess. Doesn't anyone clean around here? Oh, um, I... I usually clean up after dinner, Mama. I always keep my kitchen spotless. Pedro, just let me know if you need me to take care of this. Oh, okay. No, don't worry about it. Please, go have a seat. We'll bring dinner out. Fine. See? She always tries to insult me. And you never defend me. I always stand up for you with my family. Hey, okay, here you go, Mama. Pedro, have a seat. Oh. You shouldn't be doing that. That's Adriana's job. It's fine, Mama. Sweetie. Hey, Mom. Is it okay if I sleep over at Megan's tonight? No, honey. You know you're not allowed to spend the night. That's so not fair. You never let me do anything. What is wrong with letting Anna spend the night at her friend's house? Oh, well, we have a policy. No sleepovers until she's 14. Well, that is bad parenting. She's old enough to make decisions on her own. Pedro feels that way too. Right, Pedro? Um, we can talk about it later, okay, honey? So, Mama, how do you like the enchiladas? They're really good. <laughs> I'm surprised. Did you make the tortillas by hand? Oh, no. Actually, I bought everything from a restaurant. A restaurant? Why couldn't you have made it yourself? Oh, that's right. You enjoy spending my son's hard-earned money. What? No, it's not like that. It most certainly is. You can't keep a clean house. You don't raise your daughter right. And you can't even cook. What kind of a wife are you? How could you say something like that? Pedro, aren't you going to say anything? Adriana, wait. Adriana! Give me a second, Mama. Hey. Are you all right? No. Every time she comes over, she makes me feel like I'm a bad mom, or a bad wife, or like I'm not good enough for you. And you never say anything. She's my mom. What do you want me to do? To defend me. The same way I always defend you to my mom. You see, a few years ago, when you lost your job and didn't have any money, I had to pay all the bills. When my mom would complain about that, who do you think defended you? Me. And when you started your business, and it wasn't going so well. You'd borrow money all the time. When my mom would get mad, who do you think defended you? Me. Then finally, when your business took off, you were never around. I had to take care of Anna all by myself. When my mom would try to say something, who do you think defended you? Me. It's 
So you see? All I want is for you to have my back the same way I've always had yours. Oh my god. You're right. I'm so sorry, Adriana. It's okay. I get it. That's your mom. I want you to have a good relationship with her. I just wish you'd stand up for me sometimes. I promise you, moving forward, I will always have your back. Can you please forgive me? Mijo, just let her be. She's lazy, she's a bad mom, and she's wasting your money. Actually, Mama, you're wrong. Adriana is a hard worker. She's a great mother. And she's the reason why I have money in the first place. So, moving forward, I would appreciate it if you treat her with the respect that she deserves. Hello, Grandma. See you soon. <laughs> I'm finally gonna have a grandchild. Yes, we've been so excited to tell you. Oh, this has been my dream. I know you guys have been trying to get pregnant for a really long time. You've got to tell me everything. How far along are you? Oh, um... I'm not actually pregnant. What? What do you mean? How can I be a grandma if you're not pregnant? Well, uh, um... Do you want to tell her, Ernesto? Tell me what? I don't understand. Are you going to have a baby or not? Yes. Yes. But the thing is, we decided to adopt. Her name is Madison. She's three months old. Madison? No. I don't want a grandchild that's not my blood. Well, originally, that's what we had wanted. But. We aren't able to get pregnant because... I knew it. You can't get pregnant, can you? All these years, I've been asking for a grandchild. And now, I know why. You can't give me one. Mama, you're still gonna be a grandma, okay? Family isn't about blood. It's about love. No, it's not. Besides, what kind of a woman can't give birth to her own child? Maria, wait. Déjala. Why would you tell her that? Ernesto, listen to me. You need a real woman who can give you children. Mijo, you have to leave her. This isn't about Maria, Mama. You see, Maria and I have been struggling to get pregnant for years. Every time we've taken a pregnancy test, it always comes back with the same result. Negative. It's been so hard on us. So we decided to go to a doctor to see if something was wrong with Maria. We were so stressed out waiting on the results. And that's when we got the, uh, the difficult news. The one who can't have kids is me. So you see this 
has nothing to do with Maria, Mama. I'm the one who can't have children. I... No. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I told Maria if she wanted to leave me, I'd understand. And she said that she's gonna stick by my side, no matter what. And that's how we decided to adopt. I, I feel so bad for the way I treated her. Maria? Can I talk to you for a second? I'm sorry I left. No. I'm sorry. Ernesto told me everything. You're such an amazing woman. And it's my son who's lucky to have you. Do you think you can forgive me? Of course. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Madison. <laughs> Hello. There's someone here who wants to meet you. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! Say hello to your new granddaughter, Mama. Oh. Hello, sweetie. Hola, mi amor. Grandma loves you so much, Madison. You were right, mijo. Family isn't about blood. It's about love. Okay, everyone, let's gather around for a photo with the bride and groom. Great, just in, and one, two. Oh, there you are. There's my baby boy. Look at you. You look so handsome. Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> Only the bride's supposed to wear white. Oh, Kevin, don't be silly. It's just a dress. No big deal, right, Kayla? It's okay. We're just happy that you're here. Come join us for a photo. Great. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Okay, so everyone, can you give us a moment while we take a family photo? Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Did you not hear me? I said family photo. Ma, she is family. She's about to be my wife. Yeah, oh, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. You should get a picture with your mom. Come on, honey. Perfect, got it. Come now, sweetheart. So, mommy, did you come alone? Oh, no, no, no. I brought my plus one. I invited Heather. Heather? My ex girlfriend? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, there you are. We were just talking about you. Right, honey? Hey, Kevin. It's good to see you. You look good. Kevin, what's going on? Uh, Heather, can you give us a moment? Sure. Ma, what are you doing? Why would you invite her to my wedding? Kevin, I know how close you two were, and I didn't want her to miss your special day. And besides, who knows how long this marriage is gonna last. It's always good to keep your options open. Kayla! 
Let her go, mijo. This marriage was a mistake from the very start. Mommy, that's enough. Why are you doing all this? You are all people should know what it's like to be treated like this. What are you talking about? You told me yourself that your mother-in-law ruined your wedding day. You see? You said that your wedding started off as the happiest day of your life. Everything was perfect. That is, until Abuela got there. You said she showed up practically wearing the same dress you were wearing. Just to make you feel bad. She even made you feel like you weren't part of the family by excluding you from all the family photos. But what hurt you most of all was that she invited dad's ex to the wedding just to ruin your special day. So you see, mom, what you're doing to Kayla is exactly what dad's mom did to you. Wow. I completely forgot about all of that. I do remember how much it hurt. And now, I feel so bad. I just did the same thing to Kayla. Well, now's your chance to make it right. Kayla, can I speak to you for a second? Sure. Listen. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I should never have treated you that way. You think maybe you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's go take that family photo. But first, let me go change. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh, uh, one second. Everyone say cheese. Actually, why don't we all say family? One, two, three. Family. Hey, Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. Mama, we really have to take you to the doctor. I am not your mother. Go wait outside. Both of your kidneys are failing. I'm not ready to die. I couldn't find anyone. We found you a donor. Who is this angel? 